Imagine after dark we join the violent femmes busking in New York. Also on the show, the outrageous Iggy Pop, a classic from Rick James, and the latest from Scandal. Welcome again to another After Dark. Nice to be with you on this Saturday night. We'll also speak live in studio to Scott Kahn from Kids in the Kitchen. They're back on the road after taking a break. Don Miller-Robinson is back in again. Got a new single around. It's a beauty too, this one. Gary Frost and Brenton Roberts are doing a thing together. It's out. It's been out a couple of weeks. A lot of radio stations picking it up. We'll talk to them. And we've also got members of a Perth band called the Flying Fonzarellis. And they are wild boys. So it should be a good show. Let's go with Little Pammy Burridge and the passions. And then we'll have a look at Rick Springfield. And on the beach, oh, so good is love, the only one for me. Have fun in the sun, I'm hanging around in the deep sea. I I am the warrior. Good on him. Doing well too. Number two in the city that you hail yeah, from, Scott. Sorry. It's number two in Melbourne. Yeah, it is number two. It looks Melbourne. like going to the top, yeah, actually. I reckon it does. Which it didn't come from nowhere to. Yep. It's Amazingly right. well, it did in the states too. And Patty Smythe is the name of the lady, Patty not who? Smith. You see, <laughs> and they reckon that they might have helped it in the states. Anyway, you had a couple of goodies going for you. You're going really strong. Still have. <laughs> well, they're working still, but I mean, they were Zooming and you were touring and everything, and then you lost a couple of guys. Yeah. How much now in reflection, because at the time we asked you, do you think it will affect you? In reflection, did it affect well, the group much? Well, at, the, at that time, I think the, uh, Bruce, Craig and I, the three remaining members, were really scared because, it, of course, it's a scary thing to go through, sure. like losing two members yeah. and knowing whether getting new guys is going to make up that chemistry which was lost, and that was that the whole last tour, like... We, we were, you know, like we started Queensland, we thought, oh, it's just not looking that good. By the time we got to Sydney, things were starting to form, you yeah, know, in the way, because I mean, the guitarist was a very good guitarist mm. that we had. Um, and he was one that was really hard to replace, but Claude, the guitarist, like, he's so versatile and so, such a really good player that, yeah. that you know, after, after a couple of gigs, he just started really, you know, playing really well, really and as good, and now this tour, we only started like first time back in two months, mm. and we started Queensland, and um, I was I was unblown out because like the new songs we've written are fantastic. Everything's fire. Yeah, and it's who wrote and these new ones? The whole band. I mean, more so, uh, the whole band writes as one contributes. Like mm. if the drummer's not working out drum patterns, he's yeah. trying to contribute and saying, you know, singing out, hey, what, try an E here or try an F there. Right. You know, there's a lot of that going on, which is good because like writing, you know. If, if there are singular writers, which we haven't really tried yet, right. but if there's singular writers in the band, we'd find ourselves, um, I think the music would be really bland, but because you've yeah. got all these other people, you get, you know, this, you get, this, you get this kind of, mm. yeah, no, let's try this, let's try this, mm. and everyone tries, and it's great. So, so far, now that you're back on the road, it's looking good and you're feeling real well. Oh, look, yeah, what did you do in great. the break? In the break, we wrote songs we didn't, I think, oh, this is more or less a break for us, the touring. Right. Because we people thought we were, people kept on saying, oh, you're having a bit of a break. No, yeah. we're not, you know, yeah. we're out writing songs. And, and the first initial couple of weeks of writing songs was, um, uh, you know, we thought, oh, God, you know, like, right, we had to get used to new writing styles together yeah. because we used to write other, other ways and we said, oh, oh, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but all of a sudden, bang, third, fourth, it fifth is. week, we just went bang, bang, all these songs came so out. So how many songs you got now? You got oh, an album got, ready or something? We've got, a, we've got an, an album's worth of songs. Oh new songs and we're, what we're going to do is we're not going to cut our own throats by um, not releasing any of the old songs because a lot of the mm. old songs are good also so what we're going to do is like m probably be made up of the best of the old ones and the best of the new best ones. Of the yeah, and so does that mean that you'll bring, I, someone rumoured to me today that you're going to bring in an American producer quite likely? Yeah, um, well what's, it's looking pretty promising um, that we're going to bring uh, Jelly Bean in, that right. uh, he's a producer he's done a hell of a lot of things. Of, yeah. right. A lot of work for Madonna, so Michael Jackson. What Hollywood. makes him available? Well, what it makes him available is that um, that we've we've dug up trying to dig up for months producers because um, there hasn't been a lot of pe people you know working towards getting them. Right. So um, we've had to kind of dig into getting producers ourselves, and after sending tapes around the country um, and getting yeses and nos, and I'd love to do it, but we can't do it yeah. now. We um, 
well, actually Ian Ian came into the um, the limelight and kind of asked us whether you know because he's been he's went over a few weeks yeah. previously and, and yeah. really loved the music on the tapes and he and he, right. and he thought you know like um, we were getting held up by the record company started wanting, pushing yeah, them around and started over pushing them around yeah. and so we've we've gone ahead and he's given us a really good handout right. with um getting a producer to do the the, the next lot of work and um it's Great. been really good so it's jelly bean to produce well we don't know about the album yet he's going to come over and do um <coughs> the next single, single which right. i'm really happy about really when will good. we get that will we get it for christmas be a bit um, late well i'd say it'd be a bit later christmas yeah. because it, i mean <coughs> it's a great it's going to be a great summer single right. and um and uh somewhere january feb yeah january february okay hang in mate we'll have a look at bit of desire one of the ones that have been big already for you yeah good to see that you got that uh, american guy coming in we're going to talk about a couple other things i'll come back to you a little later on that bit of desire kids in the kitchen we nearly lost you actually couldn't find your way here tonight or something yeah are oh, we no we got mixed up with um Oh, we were following Liz and all of a sudden Neil got a bit heavy footed. Heavy. Look, Scott, this simply isn't going to work. You're not going to change. I'm not going to change. It's best if we forget this whole thing and go our own way. <laughs> 